Democrats already made up their mind and chosen their tactics. Delay, obstruct, and resist. Whatever it took, whatever the truth really was, they were going to do whatever they could to stop this qualified, experienced, and mainstream nominee. Democrats have signaled for months they'd put on whatever performance the far left special interests demanded and throw all the mud, all the mud they could manufacture. But it's not like they didn't warn us. But even by the far left's standards, this shameful, shameful smear campaign has hit a new low. I'll get into the specifics in just a moment. But I want to be perfectly clear about what has taken place. Senate Democrats <clears throat> and their allies are trying to destroy a man's personal and professional life on the basis of decades-old allegations that are unsubstantiated and uncorroborated. That, Mr. President, is where we are. This is what the so-called resistance has become. A smear campaign, pure and simple, aided and abetted by members of the United States Senate. Eight weeks ago, Democrats on the Judiciary Committee received a letter from Dr. Christine Blasey Ford with an uncorroborated allegation of misconduct. She had requested the matter be handled discreetly and confidentially. The responsible next step would have been alerting the full committee so a confidential bipartisan investigation could begin. Committee staff would have followed their standard practice for investigating background information. Senators could have questioned Judge Kavanaugh in their meetings or in closed session while respecting Dr. Ford's request for confidentiality. <clears throat> oh, but Democrats didn't do any of that. They sat on Dr. Ford's letter for seven weeks, seven weeks kept it secret, they did nothing, they bid the time, and then they threw Professor Ford's wishes overboard and leaked it, leaked it to the press. Our colleague from Delaware has himself indicated that either the ranking member's office or the Democratic committee staff likely leaked the document. As I've noted, we know the chain of custody of the letter went through the Democratic side of the Judiciary Committee. So, Mr. President, does this sound like Democratic senators take their responsibilities seriously and want to get to the truth? Or does it sound like a choreographed smear campaign that ignored Dr. Ford's request for confidentiality in order to inflict <clears throat> maximum damage, maximum damage at the last minute on Judge Kavanaugh and his family.